Hi there, welcome to this new video and in this video we will look at the time series uh, and other models like Arimax and Sarimax. So, so far we have discussed the time series modeling where we have looked at the Arima model or the Arima model which is uh, in auto regressive integrated moving average where you know that if the trend is over there then how you can do the prediction on the univariate time series data. So I got a comment or maybe a question you can say that if I can produce a, you know, a video on the Arimax and Sarimax and honestly I have to go through first the concept just to understood uh, what is uh, Arimax and Sarimax uh, and uh, basically understand the functioning behind it. So based on um, what I understood I have uh, condensed my three hours of study into this this presentation so that uh, you can quickly get it out of it and uh, you know easily understand the Arimax and Sarimax. All right so what we can do is uh, let me just quickly cover the agenda what we're going to discuss. First is uh, what is Arimax and Sarimax. I think uh, once I'll explain you you will be quickly able to understand as the name is pretty straightforward. Then what is this X factor that is after both Arima and Sarima and uh, then you have the example of this x factor because theory in theory you will find uh, very difficult because i found it very difficult when i first read about this factor and uh, there is a lot of theory which is out there but i tried to simplify it by taking an example of uh, from one of the research paper i can't recollect because i was doing a lot of search around there at that time but that example I found it very perfect and um, very uh, very much related to our day to day work. So, so I'll show you that example and the implementation of uh, Sarimax in Python how you can import the relevant libraries do the configuration into the function however it is very st standard if you have seen my previous videos related to the Arima it is in line with that but uh, just couple of things which I will show you related to how to have this X factor adjusted over there. So stay tuned for that and let's move ahead and see Arimax and Sarimax in action. So to understand Arimax let's see what is Arima. First of all Arima is auto regressive integrated moving average which is forecasting based on the presence of trend. So whenever there is a trend is present we kind of create the stationary series to reduce the effect of trend and then do this uh, arima based forecasting if you have not seen my previous video i have explained it in detail in a in a very long videos along with projects about arima so i suggest that you see it over there uh, if if you are not at all aware about this now sarima or seasonal auto regressive integrated moving average is along with the trend you have a presence of seasonality as well so seasonality as you can see it is based on season like in summer season you have clothes which is very light or uh, which is very dry in nature so that you can you know you don't feel the lot of heat when you are wearing it as well as uh, or as compared to the winter when you have a lot of cold uh, you know cold out there and you would like to protect yourself with the warm jacket or something so you will see that in winter season the the sale of the woolen clothes is going high so that's basically a very simple example of seasonality however there are various other things that you can correlate with your um, you know seasonality factors all right so this is uh, this is basically again Arima but uh, having the effect of seasonality is something uh, for those time series which has both the trend as well as seasonality. Now what is this X factor? Well this X factor is exogenous variable. Now before I explain you this theory it is I, I think it will make in just one second very clear what is exogenous variable if you just look at the definition of exogenous uh, variable so I have it here in the Google over here so what is exogenous is basically having an external cause or origin that means there is some other external factor which is impacting it 
or in biology it says growing or originating from outside an organism or psychiatry a disease or syndrome attributable to an agent of organism outside the body so all in all it is basically saying that there is some factor which is outside of the overall factor that we are studying so coming back to our presentation if i just go in the presentation mode and come back so it's the same thing i have written over here a factor in the model whose value is identified by the factors of variables outside the model of study so just to simplify this uh, definition i know definition understanding definition is really difficult because they are like tightly uh, you know condensed or the you know are the words which are arranged in a very tightly fashion just to explain this entire thing so an example for this is that in farming production for a cost so production is basically the output of the farming you know the grains or anything that is that you are producing in farming so production for a cost is based on factors like area of land or quality of seed etc but in this rainfall is an exogenous variable whose value will be determined by other factors like what is the humidity or what is the air speed etc so as you can see uh, production is is heavily dependent on some of the direct variables but indirectly or externally it has rainfall as an exogenous factor so suppose in a time series data that you are collecting related to the farming uh for over a period of 10 years or 20 years along with let's say area of land that is over there or the quality of seed value if you are having it over there what you are also having is basically the rainfall which was there at that point in time i think it is in millimeters what they capture so 100 mm 200 mm 500 mm things like that so you can capture that and keep this as your x factor or the external factor that is impacting the production for a cost so as you can see it is very important for a time series data from the forecasting perspective so that is in a very simple language my 3 or 4 hours of study i just wanted to show you in this simple one uh slide that this is what i could finally um, you know care, you know figure it out from all of the different papers that i studied so now let's go ahead and see it in action in the jupiter notebook so first of all or maybe what i can do is i can show you the uh the data set which i am having first of all so i will say window e and desktop and in here the files that i have been using so i have the sales shampoo sales with exogenous variable so if you see it's uh, having three variable one is uh, month one another is sales what is the sales or maybe the output of the production factor or uh, output of uh, farming example that i said and then finally the inflation so what is the inflation between 1 to 5 so you can have i have just customized it this is not real data uh, just just to be clear and what i have done over here is simply said rand between 1 to 5 and it will give you some value right so between 1 to 5 so generally 1 to 5 is uh, is an inflation rate which you find in the developing countries and uh, that's what i have just tried to take it over here and try to assign it the inflation however i know it's a very high inflation figure it usually doesn't happen like that but uh, just for the representation that this is something exogenous variable the inflation so sales is having uh, some factors like uh, marketing and in which uh, market you are going whether you are doing any other promotional activity so it's it has a lot of uh, direct uh, impact on that but inflation is another impact based on the spending power of the people and then we are determining whether this is having an impact on the sales or not or this is like an additional parameter which are supporting the sales so i'll just close this i don't want to save it so let me go over here so import pandas as pd and then import stats models dot tsa dot stats stats space
I guess the name is yeah, set spades dot Sarimax import the Sarimax and in case we want to plot the variable so percentage matplotlib inline from all right oh yeah okay all good now um shampoo equals to pd dot read underscore csv and then what we have is sh let me try with first of all with this shampoo so in all this dot csv and i will surround this by opening and closing you can find the data set in description so let's go ahead and execute this and just she see the data over here so one thing which i'll do is i'll make an index so shampoo dot index equals to shampoo dot month all right so now if i see the head so first of gen all of this is in over here in the month or and another thing that can be done is you can just go ahead and remove that all right so but what i need is basically mostly the sales information and uh, inflation so i'll just simply first of all what i'll do is i'll just plot the data and that so this basically indicates that there is definitely a trend present and some sort of a seasonality if you see this this and over here this particular one so if if there is some seasonality is present then we will we'll just go ahead and uh, impute or Im not impute assign inf you know put the variables for the seasonal order so to create a model we will we will use the sarimax uh, function so i will say sarimax underscore model equals to sari max and uh, first of all the data which is in the shampoo and it is sales that's what the output we want and then the order is tuple so let's say order is one comma one comma one i have shown in my previous video how to how you would identify this order so let me go ahead and specify the seasonal order um, and let's say this is one comma one comma one and comma four this basically indicates that it is a quarterly series now all of this i know you have been finding it little uh, you know confusing that how i'm specifying this is just randomly i'm going ahead and specifying the values of the pdq so it's basically those factors which i have explained in my previous video for arima same is the case for seasonal the only extra parameter i'm specifying is basically four which indicates it's it's quarterly if it is 12 it is monthly so and so forth so this is what i'm doing and these factors are basically i have shown in my previous videos you can determine based on the you know the accuracy that is coming out of the uh of these parameters 111 one, one, or 101 one, or 121 or 212 what you will specify is something you can automate using my previous video and uh, seasonal order is this and then there is third parameter the another parameter i think the fourth one or the third one so one two three yeah fourth one is exogenous variable and that is nothing but the inflation i hope i'm writing it correct inflation yeah so this is how you specify those that external factor let's call keep calling that external factor so that it is there in our mind you know it's always we are remembering okay this is an external factor which is impacting our series this is an external factor which is impacting our series so the more we will try to remind ourselves uh, not as this heavyweight term like exogenous but as an external factor that will be easy because we love simple language so if i execute uh, throws an error let me see earlier when i was testing it it was not throwing so yes i am writing it this incorrect yeah because i have tested all of the script 
the four coming here so just execute this and uh, what i'll do is i will fit the model so we have created a model model is stored in this so to get the results what i will do is serimax underscore model and disp equals to false all right why i am writing this i have already explained in one of my previous video or i would like to just give you an assign small assignment that figure this out it's something related to the warning so if i um sorry my subject is not callable all right what i have missed is fit okay perfect so what i can do now i can simply call the method summary and here you can have a good summary of your model and uh, basically see the inflation factor and its p value is definitely 0 0.0 more than 0 0.05 so it's basically something which is not contributing as expected because it is just a random stuff which i have taken it but in normal scenarios also it may happen that it is not um, adding the uh, the impact on this so it's completely based on the experimentation then autoregressive term the moving term the autoregressive seasonal term autoregressive uh, sorry the moving average seasonal term and then some of the statistics over here which you may want to evaluate based on um, how your data is and how your model is coming up and all of these are like very straight for the the repetitive statistics from the time series model so that is uh, at a very high level i, I at a very high level i wanted to show you the definition of uh, arimax and serimax and uh, how you can implement the serimax over here now the question may come is that uh, what about arimax right we talked about uh, serimax um, over here so for example if you have if you don't have a seasonal order so what is making serimax serimax is basically seasonal order if you don't have the seasonal order if you remove this control x remove this hide the additional uh, comma then it's basically this serimax is is actually becoming an arimax because we have just removed the seasonal component out of it and the method will be the same so from the same method you can achieve arimax as well as serimax and uh, and yeah get the the effect of the external impact using the exogenous variable so that's about it i wanted to discuss in this video um, hope you have found it useful and an addition to your knowledge and that's pretty much it and i'll if you like it go ahead and hit the like button let me know in comments what do you think about it and uh, and uh, share it with your friends and colleagues thank you